me get this video started right quick and everything. Um, excuse me if I mess up on something, you know what I'm saying? Um, been into firearms for a minute, you know. Uh, well, basically ever since I was a kid growing up, you know what I'm saying, in the deep south. Shooting, you know, all different types of guns, you know, but mostly what the old folks had, you know, the 12 gauges and that are sixes and all them different types of things. Damn, excuse my lighting in here. Them, I'm in the kitchen. This, I'm not used to doing videos at the same time, but uh, I got something for you here today. And uh, carrying this old bag here, they say this old get home bag or bug out bag, not bug out, but you know. Or get home bag, you know, whatever. It's just old fisherman's bag, basically. You know what I'm saying? It's got use it as a backpack or one sling it over. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a fisherman's bag, really. That's what it is. You know, but it just came out to be what I just needed. You know, but uh, that's what we got going on here. Y'all see that? Oh, let me make sure I'm going to show you something else. It's clear. Uh, hard to do it with one hand. But yeah. It's clear. It's clear. Ain't nothing in there. Uh, this is old Kiapa. Some people say Chiapa. But it's a Chiapa. That's the way they pronounce it over in Italy. Uh, let me unfold this thing for you. Came with the threaded burrow. Some of the Chiapas came with well, this is a Charles Daly um, version, I guess. Uh, mine came with the threaded burrow already on it. Um, some come with the pin sight that's already on it. Mine didn't come with that. Uh, like I said, this is, I guess, an updated version. Uh, came with one Beretta 92 mag and a Beretta 92 uh, mag adapter. You can switch these adapters out. Uh, got the micro uh, flash can on there. You know, I just wanted a little decoration. She was so plain on the front end right there. Just got this so uh, Gabrielle... It's really a pistol light, but it was just I wanted to keep everything as compact as I could. Let me get another look on the other side. I'm trying to keep everything as compact as I could, so I got this little Gabrielle pistol light. That's something. Um, man, that thing is so bright, I'm telling you. It is super bright. Uh got this old uh got that from Amazon exactly. Uh it was 25 bucks. Oh, I forgot this flash can came from S and P. Uh here in Fort Worth, uh, S and P Outfitters. Here in Fort Worth, flashlight Gabriel brand came from uh, Amazon. Twenty five bucks, super bright. It come with a little charger and a battery. Uh, this here came from Amazon too. This old uh, red dot. There's some gun hold up to be so cheap. I think I paid like twenty dollars for this Penty. Uh, red dot. Well, it's red uh, slash green dot. You turn red, it gets bright down the dim it didn't come with this uh folding brace on there six and a half six point three inch barrel AK frame uh all the AK safety it's made in Romania I don't know if y'all can see it but it was made in Romania I'll read it to you right quick uh made in Romania Nova Modul uh, Chiapa, USA, Dayton, Ohio. Pack 9, PAK 9, 9mm Luger. Uh, this folding adapter. I got it offline. This one came from uh, Cheaper Than Dirt. Paid 20 bucks for it. But it's a UTG folder. It's aluminum. You can find them for $15, $16. Some places online had them for like 100 bucks. Come on, man. Look, it had a uh, another piece originally on the front. That it screws into a um, kind of like uh, a buffer tube will screw into. Uh, but this one here, I cut the one piece off so I can just bolt it flat to the back of my receiver. Cut that, cut that, um, what was that, uh, a male end off 
and it had a hole already in the middle of it. I just enlarged the hole by maybe one eighth and it fits flat to the back of there. Folds out no problem. Uh, got this CAC shockwave blade and uh, this buffer tube from S&P Outfitters as well. Uh, I think it was like $33 for those two pieces. I'm going to change this up. Uh, which color uh, this blade out. I'm not sure how comfortable it's going to be after I get a few shots in it Some people say it's not good uh, or make you sore a little bit after you know running it a little bit um, But I'm gonna go back uh, with the SB brace uh, Use the same buffer tube. Well, I gotta change out that buffer tube too because it's only fit this uh, shockwave blade But uh, yeah on my AR I took my buffer and uh, um, Brace off it fits perfect and so I'm gonna go with that I forgot I got these uh, flip up sights. Uh, the gun came with some, but they was a uh, polymer. I don't like them because they look bulky and plastic. It look it look cheap, you know. They they look cheap, but I I still have them up there. Come with, yeah, like I said, come with two mag wheels. You can change them out. Uh, it's almost like a regular AK uh, release where you release a magazine on a regular AK, but this one here. This whole bottom piece falls out. You can just take it off like that and put your Beretta mag in there. And it slides back on it, clicks in like this. But I forgot this hand grip. It's got another little piece of grip that made like this. That was the second piece I got it upstairs. But uh, that hand grip, it fit pretty good on there. Uh, I got that off uh, Amazon as well. Let's see. Yeah, I got it off Amazon as well. I forgot all the name of the places that are the name of the sellers who I got these parts from. But I mean, you just go on Amazon, put Penty uh, Red Dot in. I'm talking about, man, this thing zero so good, man. I'm talking about at 15 yards, I'm talking about I'm keyholing shit. I'm talking about straight keyholing. I swear, I'm like, I got my um, papers upstairs, the targets upstairs. And uh, next time I get a chance to go out to the uh, range, I'm going to let y'all see me find this bad baby up man I love this micro flash can on there I love it I was gonna get the three inch can on there it make it look a little more salty but uh, I just want to keep it compact so I can travel with it this and that this and that uh, yeah. come with the 33 round uh, Glock mag uh, let me see, I'm gonna sit this down for a second. I have a uh, KCI drum, block drum that goes with it. It does not want to work in here. This mag is crap. KCI, I haven't had no luck in it with it. I put it in my uh, Defender, MPA Defender, but I put some uh, tabs. I fabricate some tabs to fit on here. And it fits in my Defender, with no problem. Run perfect, 100%. But when I put it in here that's made for a Glock, no dice. Not at all. This thing is wicked. Oh, it's heavy as hell. I'm telling you now. This thing is heavy. Now, if you plan on getting this gun, this gun by itself, without the accessories, weighs about 6 pounds and something. You need to build these fucking shits up right here. If you're going to sit around and hold this motherfucker all day. Boy, I'm 175 pounds. I ain't no weakling, weakling, but God. It's, it's got some weight on it. You know, when you're just regular doing your thing, you know what I'm saying. But you ain't going to stand around all day holding this motherfucker. I'm going to tell you now. It's not going to happen. But yeah, this is the key opera. Oh, uh, uh, PAK9. Pack 9, they have a NAC 9, NAK 9mm as well. Uh, have 8 to 12 inch barrel on there with the AK furniture and everything. That thing, what I liked about it was uh, it can take all the AK furniture. Oh, yeah, the other version of this gun, I forgot, Charles Daly. Man, come on, holla at your boy. Why y'all give me this? This is polymer, plastic or whatever. The whole trigger receiver. It's polymer, and it's one piece. On the first versions of these, you can take the handle off, put your another handle on, but this you can't, because like I said, this is all one piece. The whole trigger guard right there. So what I'm thinking about, if I can't get in contact with Charles Daly Company and try to get them to send me a 
one from the old uh, pack nine. I'm just gonna buy me an AK trigger uh, guard and put it on there. Be through with it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, I'm basically finished with her, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, you know, that baby, she, I'm telling you, she gets out there. I'm gonna learn how to bump fire. See all the cats on YouTube bump fire and the hell out this shit. And I love it, you know what I'm saying? This thing locks it. And I, I, like I said, hey, shit. That's 33 rounds. I got another 34 round here. Uh, a Men 2 is the name of the company that made the other mag that I have for this. I think it's upstairs. A Men 2. I had two hang-ups on it. I don't know if it just need broken in because it's new or what. But I had two hang-ups on it. But I'm going to keep trying with it. Uh, they said it's an ESG uh, 40 round uh, stick mag online. I'm going to go for that too. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. I said, shh. After I get through busting with this damn thing so heavy and, and clunky, you can you can lose, use it for a bludgeon object uh, object on a motherfucker. Okay? You you finish finish them off if the bullets didn't finish them off. You can finish them off with this heavy motherfucker, man. I'm telling you, this some is just iron, all iron. Well, these this is such this plastic polymer at least, but uh, the gun itself and it weighs a ton. Like I said, you can beat a motherfucker to death if the bullets don't take them out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway. Yeah, but this is the Kiapa PAK Pac-9, the cousin or the brother to the Nat-9, and uh, she bought Mississippi, I just wanted to show my shit, which I didn't see too many videos of uh, a lot of Pac-9s on there, it's one guy, uh, gear, uh, God, I can't think of that name, that guy, he got a lot of videos on there, and, uh, but, uh, but yeah, but everybody that I see, they have the old style, the, the first uh, generation with the the site built onto the front. Uh, I'm glad I didn't end up with that one because it came with the mag, came with the adapter. All the first one you said you had to order the Glock adapter and you know this and that, this and that. But yeah, this thing, she's a beauty, she's a beast. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna change it, put some color on this, these guard and this handle. If I can ever get this changed out, I might do a OD green with my SB brace. Let me take this stripe. Uh, um, cat blade off and put this uh, SB brace on it. Might go OD green and black. But uh, yeah, this is your boy Mississippi. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Just wanted to show y'all what I'm working with. Pac-9 Chiapa, made in Romania. That thing. Uh, don't forget this, y'all. Everybody who got get this thing from UGT uh, adapter and cut that front piece off and just. Stick it on there. And like I said, you see how it ain't going nowhere. Listen, I can beat a motherfucker to death with this if I had to. But yeah, uh, there you go. It's your boy Mississippi. Holla at me.